All right, welcome to this lesson. The point of this lesson is simply to get you started with RStudio. So I'm going to run through some quick examples that show you um, some of the command line functionality of the RStudio environment. And one basic idea to understand is that uh, you can just type at the command line and RStudio will act like a calculator. So you can do subtraction, you can do division using the slash, you can do multiplication using the asterisk, which is on the eight key. Um, you can raise numbers to a power and use the caret sign, which is usually located over the six. So two to the third power is equal to eight. That's two times two times two. Um, it's also important to understand that RStudio respects order of operations. So when you type something like nine times six plus one, the first thing that RStudio computes is nine times six, because multiplication takes precedence in order of operations. Then once you've done nine times six, you add one to it. So that's 54 plus one is 55. If you wanted a different order of operations, you can use parenthesis, right? So when you type nine times six plus one, with the six plus one in parenthesis, uh, six plus one is seven, seven times nine is 63. Uh, there are also some other basic mathematical functions you'll want to know how to do in RStudio, and they have names that we type in, and the thing that we want to take the function of goes inside parentheses. So square root is SQRT, right? Square root of nine is three, square root of 4.5 is this number and so on. Um, we can also take cosine and sine. So cosine of 1.3 is this number, sine of zero is zero, of course. Um, and then we have the exponential and the logarithm. And this is a common point of confusion for students. Since you're used to writing e to the x on paper, students often want to write e to the some number, e cubed, for instance, um, within our studio. And our studio does not know what the number e is. If you write e caret 3, you get an error. It says object e not found. So you have to use the exponential function, which is exp. Exp of 3 means e to the third power. Okay, so there's the number. Um, the natural logarithm is written simply log, so don't get confused. You might think log means log base 10. In our studio, log means natural log, and natural log is the usual log that we use in mathematics. So if I do, you know, log of 10, I don't get 1. I get the log base e of 10, which is about 2.3. And we can remember that log and exponential are inverse functions, so, you know, if I do the log of the exponential of 2.5, I get 2.5 back. Okay, something else students often wonder about is do spaces matter in RStudio? And the answer is basically no. So, you know, 3 plus 4 is 7, and 3 plus 4 is also 7 with all those extra spaces. It doesn't matter. Now, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about a second topic called the variable assignment. What assignment means is taking the result of some calculation or some process and saving it with a name so that you can use it later, right? So if I type um, first equals three, there's now a variable created called first, and it has the value three stored in it. And if I want to ask RStudio what is stored in first, I just type its name and I get the number three back. I could type second equals four. And if I want to see what's stored in second, I can type its name. I can type something like my sum equals first plus second. And of course, what should be stored in my sum is whatever the value of first was plus whatever the value of second was. If we want to verify that it's seven, we can just type my sum and see that it's seven. Now here's another thing that um, is sometimes confusing. If I now change the value of first, if I say first equals five, you might be tempted to think that my sum should now be 5 plus 4, which is 9, but it won't be. My sum doesn't know that the original value of first has been changed, right? It still just has that original value stored in it. If I wanted to update the value of my sum, I would have to re-execute the command, my sum equals first plus second. And one thing I could do is, you know, type that again, but that's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit exhaustive. You can also take advantage of a nice feature of our studio, which is that you can press the up and down arrows to get to old commands. So if I press the up arrow a few times, 
I can get back to this line, my sum equals first plus second. So what our studio will do is it'll take the current value of first, which is now five, because we changed it. It'll take the current value of second, which is four, that's unchanged. It'll calculate five plus four, and it'll store that number into my sum. So if I ask now, what is my sum? The answer, of course, is nine. All right, that concludes this lesson. Thanks.